Hey guys and welcome back to the Twinix Justice channel where today we're going to be doing a FIFA 19 beta test. Yes that's right, we've been given the code from EA to join the FIFA 19 beta and this is the first look, I haven't, I haven't been on this app before and it's uh, it's been about 20 minutes since it started so um, we're, we're late obviously but Never mind that, let's just get straight into it and see what EA have to offer. What do we actually have access to? Let's have a look at this. FIFA 19 timed finishing. FIFA 19 active touch. And FIFA 19 dynamic tactics. Let's have a look at all of these. There's a bit of a glitch in the middle of the screen there, but... Okay, so with the new defensive, ultra defensive attacking and ultra attacking, it completely changes the formation. And if I'm correct, you can customize where each player goes for each um, play style. So you, if you have your ultra attacking, but you like some defenders to stay back, you can actually customize it and change it. So those defenders can stay back while some go up. Some go up. So if you're playing a four at the back formation, but from some attacks you want the right back and the left back to push up a bit like wing backs, you can actually change that yourself. It's almost like player instructions, but in presets. Okay, time to finish in. Okay, so there's a bar on the top. You probably won't see that in game, but I guess you have to hold down the, sh the shoot button for a certain amount of time. Oh, right, okay. And then there's the active touch system. I'm not going to get into the active touch system. It's quite boring. I'm pretty sure active touch is the, uh, how they model the players' faces and things like that. So they'll have Ronaldo doing his actual posing game rather than it be other poses, if you understand what I mean. So let's see what we've got. We've got kickoff and pro clubs now. Let's just leave all of this for now. Let's uh, just make that guy our pro. Let's see how this is. Let's see how this gets. Okay. Welcome to Pro Clubs. Create and customize your pro. Grow your abilities and unlock skill points to use on traits. Join a club. Play online as your favorite position in an up to 11 v 11 matches. And try get to Division 1. Okay. So we've created the pro. We've just left him what he is. Grow the pro. Join a club. Win silverware. See... I feel like EA spent a lot more time on pro clubs this year than other years because I play pro clubs quite a lot. So we still start as a 79 rated, but I thought it was a 9 rated from the uh, above the striker where it says. Join a club, let's see if there's any clubs I can join. Oh, okay. Uh, Crispy FC. One member, eight members. Current division 10, public. Yes, let's go. Let's join Earthquake. Request transfer. Well, we'll get into some pro clubs later on, but for now, I think I'm going to go check out Kickoff, see what the gameplay is like. Okay, new ways to play Kickoff. Choose from a variety of different match types, from cup finals to custom house rules, such as long range. Okay. Stat tracking against your opponents. Create kickoff names to track your head-to-head -head record and stats against your friends or the AI. It's basically keeping track of all your games and so against AI and against your friends clubs as well. It's like a leaderboard that keeps track of everything. As well, it does it for the new game modes that are out, which I believe I'll bring onto the screen in a second. Let's let's have a look at these. Right. So we have the new types of matches, we have the UEFA Champions League, the most prestigious club in the competition in the world, is just as integra integrated into kickoff as it is into the rest of FIFA 19. From group stage matches to the final, you can set up a custom Champions League match with specific visuals, rules and more to provide realistic immersive tournament experience. Now that sounds cool because it's almost like an online 
kickoff tournament instead of you just playing friends. I'll put all of these on the screen so you guys can see it as well. Create, enter kickoff name, play. Sign into PSN, kickoff name link into ID, play kickoff anywhere, go to settings, select link kickoff name. Okay. So with your players as well, you can set names to each controller so that you are able so that when people come round that it's already preset that their controller is that name or their controller is that name. I guess that's cool, it's not necessarily needed, but it is uh, a good feature. Classic match, house rules, UEFA Champions League, cup final, home and away. So house rules, choose a variety of different ways to play the house rules match. I'm going to get into just a normal classic match at the moment because I don't fully understand all the others. As a Man United supporter, I'm going to go with Man United against Man City. That seems fair. Zero draws, zero. Oh, okay. So this is the stat track coming into play. If I play a game against Man City and beat them, it will say wins one. And... Oh, cool. So it's also labelled semi-pro AI. What's this at the top? Right, let's go. So guys, as you can see, I ended up winning that match 4-2, which wasn't that hard because it was on a semi-pro difficulty. But the shooting has really changed in this, this uh, FIFA because you have to kind of guide the ball more or be in a position where you know you're more likely to score than rather just hit and hope in FIFA 18. So this is the uh, match results and it's all different now, isn't it? So end match. Oh, the AI had more possession than me. You couldn't write it. Alright. So that was kickoff. So it apparently the closed beta has showed that Pro Clubs hasn't been updated, even though it it looks updated, I guess. See you start off with fifteen skill points. I like to be a left winger, so I'm gonna change that now. Do they give you the option for wings yet, or no? So I guess maybe it hasn't been updated. Um, let's add some traits. No, see, it's still all the same. I guess maybe they thought they didn't have to update it or something else. So our player is at the moment an 81 rated. So the traits and all that seems to be exactly the same as FIFA 18, I guess. We'll have to wait for FIFA 19 to uh, release an Ultimate Team beta, which is... They'll probably just release a demo with Ultimate Team because... I don't see them announcing another beta release. With FIFA 19, it's with the uh, Division Leagues. Let's have a look at this. So, in FIFA 19, there's going to be an Ultimate Team, another tournament other than Foot Champs, called Division Leagues. And what these are, is there's state, it's almost ex identical to squad battles, but multiplayer. So every week, you play players on FIFA Ultimate Team, and... Um, you get points for it, which make you go up, you get better rewards. I'm pretty sure it's only a weekly tournament, though. I think Nepenthe has covered this. And, uh, yeah, so you, every week you, you can go up divisions, you get higher ranks, and then the higher rank you are in the world, the more rewards you get. But you also get points that 
can give you access to the weekend league. So you get a bonus amount of points depending on what your league is. And once you've reached the limit or almost a certain amount of points you need to get into the weekend league, you get a redeem token for the weekend league as well. Having a look at this, the rewards don't seem too crazy, almost exactly the same as squad battles. But we haven't seen any gameplay of this yet, so we don't know what the almost the amount of points you get for each game played. So it's quite hard to determine it now. But anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. Be sure to like and subscribe, comment in the comment section, put post notifications on, and remember.